Okay, so my article is on gender and leisure, and um, it just talks about the differences in participation um, amounts and the activities that people participate in and the constraints that there are um, in leisure and stuff. Starts off by talking about it says you can fit it into three main themes that like most of the research has come up with about the um, participation stuff. And it says that the first theme is the participation of the activities due to gender stereotypes, specific activities. And then the second theme is social expectations about appropriate masculine and feminine roles. And then the third theme is gendered outcome of leisure. So it just basically talks about um, why leisure participation is limited due to the gender of people. Um, first of all, it says that the, the research said that there wasn't that much different overall between the amount of time participating in leisure for male and females, but it says that women are more likely than men to experience time crunch if they have a certain amount of time that they could have leisure in. Women tend to think they have less time than they actually do, so men would try and fit leisure in, I think, a bit more than women. That's what it was kind of saying. And then um, it starts talking about some of the sports that are, tend to be gender specific and it gives some examples of um, specific men and women, the sports um, that are seen as like specific for them genders. Um, also, it talks about the constraints that we talked about in the other ones with the inter, intra and structural constraints. And it uh, mostly talks about the structural constraints saying that um, time is like a big one like the main one for the gender things and um and also into a little bit with like um for especially for women it's said about like low body image self self esteem and the lack of confidence can stop them from, from participating in leisure and then that's basically it it just talks about the different stuff and um just saying like that so um some questions is have you ever had any experiences where you haven't been able to participate or people have like kind of seen that like you're participating in the different sport like if you say they see football as a men's sport like have you ever participated in let's say football if you're a woman and has anyone kind of said anything or like thought differently about you because it seems a men's sport and you're doing it um also, what the book gives us some examples for what other act ledger activities or sports would you think are like specific for a certain gender. Um, also, the author talks about the constraints that men and women have when it comes to participating in sport and ledger activities. Like, what do you think or have had experience of which you tend to think are like the constraints that they have, um, specifically due to the different genders or stuff. And then. What are the main things that you got out of this article? Is there anything that you kind of thought was right or maybe that you didn't agree with when it came to it? And also in the article, most of it was research more kind of towards women, like the restrictions that women had more than men. Do you think that there are more kind of uh, restrictions for women or do you think there's just as many between men and women?